Welcome everybody to another episode of the Cool Interviews. How are you guys doing today, man? I'm here with a special guest, Michael Robinson out of Frisco, Texas. He is currently ranked as the 41st uh, prospect in the nation for the 2024 class. How you doing, man? I'm good. Thank you for having me. Problem, man. Uh, so just straight off the bat, just going back to beginning, what got you into basketball? What inspired you to start playing? Um, when I was younger, uh, I, I played every sport. Like I played basketball, football, soccer, like baseball. I, I tried, I tried everything. Mm-hmm. And um, I, I guess I really started like taking basketball seriously around middle school, so like sixth, sixth, seventh grade. And um, I guess what really like made me like realize like I wanted to play basketball instead of like playing every other sport was like when I started watching like actually watching basketball pretty much. Mm-hmm. And I remember the first game I actually watched it was it was a game LeBron was playing in. And ever since then, um, basketball wasn't my sport. So I guess I part of it is like LeBron I can say because he's my favorite player. Um, but I guess also my, my whole family played basketball. My mom played in college and my dad played throughout his high school days. And so I guess I felt I had to fulfill their legacy and play as well. And then when you first started playing, what what position did you start with? Were you always a forward or when did you start with? Yeah, so when, um, whenever I first started, I was, I was the tallest, of course. So I, so I did grow up playing like the center and forward, so yeah. Awesome. And then when you were growing up, like you just kind of answered like the Browns your favorite player and everything. But um, up until now, like what other players have you kind of looked up to and not of you? Mm-hmm. Um, you brought up close, like I said. And uh, two other ones I would say maybe DeMar DeRozan. Mm-hmm. And oh, let me see if I had to say one more. Um, I really like uh, Michael Bridges in Phoenix yep. because I feel like I feel like I can play that kind of role he has as like the three and D guy. Sure. And I, I, uh, I like to take the responsibility of guarding that team's best player, so he's definitely one of the one of the three that I would say I kind of model my game after at times. For sure. And then when you got that first offer, now transitioning into your offers and everything, you got that first offer from Texas Tech. Uh, what was it like knowing that you're going to be able to? You know, play at the next level. Mm-hmm. Um, it was it was exciting really because like it like it really made me realize that like all the hard work and stuff that I've been putting in is like actually showing and paying off. Because like in the moment you don't really realize like the stuff that you're doing is actually paying off until it starts to actually show and you start to get recognized for the things that you're doing. And so it, it just really made me realize that, like, if I keep this pace and keep getting better, then I have a chance to go play at the next level and be great. For sure. And then how did you figure that out? Were you at, were you playing AAU at the time? Or when did you figure out uh, that you had get, gotten offered by Texas Tech? Yeah, it's, it's, actually, a, it's actually a funny story because the, um, on the phone call with Coach Williams, mm-hmm. it, was, it was on the way home from school mm-hmm. because um, my mom would pick me up. Because I was a freshman, um, and uh, I couldn't drive at the time, yeah. and she said she said that um, we need to call somebody, and then I was like, who? And then she said, you'll see, and then uh, she called him, and then he answered, and I was like, I was I, I was surprised, like I was shocked, because on the way home I wasn't expecting that, but yeah, that was how I got my first one in the car ride home from school. That's crazy, man. Yeah. That's crazy. You just go home. You're not expecting anything to happen. No. Oh, hey, uh, we're we're gonna offer you a scholarship. <laughs> That'd yep. be insane. Yeah, that'd be insane. Uh, but then also like going into that, feeding into that, like how's your recruitment process as a whole been going so far? It's it's been going really well. Um, as um as of recently, I recently re- picked one up from Kansas, mm-hmm. and a few a few weeks before that, I picked up two from. Texas A&M and TCU, and earlier in the school in, in the school season, I picked one up from Ole Miss, and then of course the ones you were just talking about, the SMU and Texas Tech one. But it's been going pretty well. Um, I've been I've been reached out to by some other schools that I've been that I'm interested in, and we're trying to set up something right now to go to a school for another unofficial visit. So it's been going pretty well. Then just feeding right into that, like what schools have you visited so far in that? Um your recruitment process. Yeah, so 
so far. I I think I've taken the vi- an unofficial to every school that's offered me except for Ole Miss. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, Texas and yeah, Ole Miss and TCU. Those are the only two I haven't been on an unofficial. To. Sure. Yeah. What's your favorite part of going on visits? Like the the best part about going on visits? Mm, yeah, yeah. So yeah, that my answer would vary depending on like what time of the year it is. Because mm-hmm. for example. For on my A and M visit, I went down to them during, during, during football season. Awesome. So I got to go to one of their football games, and that atmosphere was crazy. But then for basketball, when I went to KU, I got to go to their basketball game, and that was even crazier. Awesome. So what I guess I guess to? it. Was, huh? What game did you go to though? There's for KU. Yeah. Um, we were fortunate enough to get down there at the game where they played Texas awesome. because. That was the game where if they won, they would have won the Big 12 uh, season title. Mm-hmm. So we got to go down there for that game, and that was crazy. Yeah, that's that's awesome. That's a cool experience right there. Yeah. Um, and then when you go on all these visits, like what are the top things that you're looking for? Like the maybe top three things you're looking for in a school that makes them a good fit for you? Mm-hmm. Uh, top three. Um, one of them. One of the main things. It's how like the coaches and the players interact with each other on and off the court because the family aspect of it is a huge, is like a huge factor into having a good team. Um, another thing, let's see, another thing would be like, ooh, mm, maybe like maybe like how the school has like had players that would that have played the role that I would play at that school and how they've dealt with them and where they've gotten them Mm -hmm. and the third thing would probably have to be um maybe like the fan interaction i guess because that is a huge piece to it Mm -hmm. having a good uh fan base is a huge piece to having a successful team as well so those three things are some of the three things i look out for sure and then next question all right so this is going to be a big question here top five Mm -hmm. basketball players of all time what are your top five of all time yes Mm, no order. I'm not, uh, no order. I think. I don't. Let me see. One of them, of course, LeBron. I have to go with LeBron. Um, I'm kind of a new era guy, so most of these guys are going to be in my time since yeah. these are the guys that I've watched growing up. Yeah. But one has to be LeBron. Another would have to be Durant, KD. I feel like he's the best scorer. He can he can put up 40 whenever he wants to. Sure. Um, let me see. Another player. Ah, uh, this is a tough one. Yeah. Um. Uh, a three. I'd have to put Magic on there. Mm-hmm. Uh, four. I'm gonna go with Shaq. Yep. I feel like he's the best center. Well, the most he's he's been he was the most dominant center of his era. So I have to put him on there. And five. Hmm. Yeah. This is a tough one because. Uh, are you going? Like, who are you going? Like debating between in this last one? Because, because I want to put Curry on there just because of how good of a shooter he is. But then, like, I feel like that's discrediting all like the like like the guys before my. Oh, MJ, MJ, I'm forgetting my control. How could I? I was about to say. How could I forget that? Yeah, but, MJ, you're five. Sure. And then now going outside of basketball, when you aren't hooping, what hobbies are you? Yeah, um, I live a basic life, so if I'm not playing basketball or working out, I'm definitely in my room on the game. Sure. Yeah. Who do you like to play play with in the game? LeBron, I'm guessing. Yep. Okay. Right. Actually, that's not true. That's not true. Yeah. On 2K, on 2K, my go-to team is the Bucks. Bucks. Okay, so yeah. you you're on with Giannis. Okay, okay. Yeah, I put Giannis at the point. It's Middleton. Mm-hmm. Yep. Sure. And then okay, so I had an interview earlier today too. Okay, so okay, right. So this question, we are one in four, so one yes, four no's. Mm-hmm. Pineapple on pizza, yes or no? I got it. Pineapple on pizza? I actually cannot answer that because I've never tried it. <laughs> but but I feel like it will be good. Okay, okay. So that okay, okay I'm gonna count that as a yes. That's two four. Yeah, so, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, you gotta try it. whenever whenever you go see your next your pizza joint that you got in Frisco just yeah get, get it please you, you gotta is it good you know yes 
It is. Here, dude, that's my like my favorite thing to put on. So, I'm, I'm, I'm excited to try it. And then, uh, if I come to Frisco, just talking about that, what are the top places I have to go to get the whole vibe of the city? Mm, Frisco, definitely the star. It's where the Dallas Cowboys, they, their training facilities are. It's actually right down the street from where I live. It's dope. Um, but the star, uh, probably the Stone Bar Mall. That's where everybody goes on the weekends and stuff like that. It's like the main hangout spot. And Frisco, what are they doing? The great city of Frisco. Um, hmm. I guess you have to go like down through through through, through downtown Frisco because they have some nice things there. So those three, I guess. Sure. I mean, hey, it's bigger than anything I got around here, bro. I got a population yeah. of two thousand people in my town. <laughs> oh. I'm a small town, but I'm gonna make it out, man. I'm, I'm making it out. Yep. Yeah. Sure. Um, but now, now if I pass you the aux in my in my car, don't have a car yet, but hypothetically, if I pass you the aux, uh, what are you playing? Ooh, anything by Lil Baby. Baby. Uh, little, some stuff by Rock Wave. Okay. And. Mm, ooh, that's a tough one. Those two are the main two, but most like that would be playing. Sure. Yeah. And I know we were talking about this a little bit before the interview. Uh, how's your basketball uh, AAU season been going? For? It's been going good. Uh, like I said, um, we played three games so far. We played two last week and then one yesterday, and we won all three of them. So we're off to a good start. We actually go to Indianapolis next weekend, so that'll be a good test for us. So. Uh, what teams have you played so far? Like, are there yeah. any like big players you've played against so far this AAU? Um, I wouldn't necessarily say like big players, like 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 had like five star type players yet. Yeah. We played more local, local, um, more local teams uh, so far since it's been like the start, so we don't go anywhere yet. But we played Urban DFW, a team from Oklahoma called Tulsa Hawks, and a team from around here called Dallas Showtime. Nice. I'm in that yeah. every pregame meal before every AAU before a, every regular season game. What do you eat? Pregame meal? Yeah. Uh, I would have to go with my mom's chicken that she cooks. Okay. Her chicken and corn that she makes. That would have to be my go-to. Sure. What do you do? You dip it in anything? What what sauce you dip it in? Um, I actually just changed my answer like mid answering it. It would actually be her chicken and rice that okay. she makes. Okay. Yeah. What are you dipping your chicken in though? That's the real question right there. Mm, if it's with rice, I don't mix it with anything. Okay, okay. With the rice. Okay, okay. I got it, I got it. Yeah. And then, what's your favorite part overall playing basketball? Favorite part overall? Um, ooh, that, that's an easy answer. Definitely like the connections I make with my teammates. Sure. Because I feel like basketball is a sport where, like, you have to have, like, like I mentioned earlier, the family aspect of it. You have to have a strong bond with your teammates in order to do well on the court. Because chemistry is a huge part of having. A-